President Gowan finally replies UK Parliament over accusations of stealing half of CBN. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So good to have you guys back here again. Thank you once again, my people, for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel. You guys are simply the best and we appreciate you for that. We pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you once again, my beautiful people. Yes, guys, as always, we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country. We know recently um, the UK Parliament uh, debated uh, um, everything um, leading up um, to the hashtag NSAS and also um, the killings, the Lekki Gate killings, killings of um, innocent citizens, unarmed citizens by Nigerian government, by Nigerian military, of which right now they are denying it, tossing it here and there. So in the middle of um, that debate of what is going to happen to Buhari's government, and then the next step of action that they are going to take, they, they branched over somewhere and mentioned um, um, former president, ex-president um, Yakubu Gowan. And um, there were some allegations against him that um, regarding fraud and how um, he looted and all of that. Right now, he has replied them. He has um, come out to speak um, against them, those um, allegations um, laid against him. We'll get you all of the details shortly, my people. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. It really does mean a lot to us. Thank you, and God bless you. Yes, we'll go straight into the news now and grab all of the details. The nation was hit with both confusion and apprehension as the UK Parliament labelled one of her very respected ex-presidents as a looter and political thief. During a parliamentary section in the United Kingdom House, a British parliamentarian, Tom Tugendhat, had made the defining allegations against ex-president Yakubu Gowan on Monday, November 23rd, 2020. The occasion was when British lawmakers debated a petition targeting some Nigerian government officials allegedly involved in the human rights abuses amid the hashtag NSAS protests. Nigerian's former military head of state, General Yakubu Gowan, retired, has today replied to the allegations against him that he engaged in a large-scale government fraud as he was accused of stealing half of the nation's storage of cash in the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, when he ran away from the country while on exile in the UK after his overthrow in 1975 of July. The former head of state, Yakubu Gowan, has stated that the information is rubbish and untrue. He added that he served Nigeria diligently and his time of service is an open book that anyone can refer to. The ex-president also wondered who could make such accusations against him and why anyone would even want to tarnish his hard-earned image. Record the viral pictures which show the exact time Gowan was informed of his ouster in far away Kampala, Uganda, while he was on a summit of the Organization of African Unity, OAU, in 1975. Ex-President Gowan ruled Nigeria from 1966 to 1975. His exile in UK saw him enroll at Warwick University, where he studied political science and international relations. Well, it's a, it's a good thing right now. I, I, I mean, I believe what is most interesting to Nigerians right now is that um, um, the international community, international eyes really looking into our government, the system of our government and everything that is going on. You know, it was um, during the debate of uh, um, what to do um, with those that were allegedly involved in the Lekki Togate shooting, the Lekki Togate massacre that occurred on the 20th of October 2020. A date Nigerians will never forget in a hurry. And the shocking part of all of it, and surprising as well, was how even uh, Buhari's government responded and reacted to the killings and the shooting. And we know Nigerians were not quiet. The whole country was torn apart, irrespective of uh, um, uh, um, state or um, ethnic uh, um, 
origin, the people that were involved, it, it, it felt as though it touched each Nigerian personally. And this is, there, there is, I don't think there's been a time where Nigerians have come together, united with one voice. This killing really sparked up a whole lot to the extent that um, everyone started putting up writing there, calling up on uh, the international community to come and look into what is going on in the country petitions here and there we know Reno Mokri raised the petition again um against the Buhari's government and all of that led to the UK deciding to look into and investigate um, all of this we even know right now CNN is even carrying out their own investigation so it was during this uh, uh, um, UK parliamentary sitting um that um Go on was mentioned, was was fingered, he was brought out. Um, the former um head of state, he was a military um the military head of state, Yakubu Gowan, he ruled um the country between the year of um 1966 to 1975 until he was overthrown. And um he, he ran away, went on exile to the United Kingdom. Right now, it's the United Kingdom that are calling him out that actually um, they can see and they can find out some things he did in that time. That he looted Nigerians' fortune, that he took part of um, CBN's uh, um, cash and um, stored it in the United Kingdom. I, I think um, Go on right now is refuting all of those claims and the allegations against him. He has replied um, um, the United Kingdom, he has replied them, but all he's saying is that um, all of those are lies. But we know the age where we live in, um, you can't um, deny results, evidence and fact. So if the UK, they are able to present most probably details of the transactions, how the monies, they were moved from the CBN, Central Bank of Nigeria, and stored in the United Kingdom. I don't think he'll be able to um, deny any of that. All of these are allegations right now, but what I'm saying is that um, um, Yakubu Gowan has uh, refuted and denied all of those and called it rubbish. It's left for the UK Parliament to provide their, their, their evidences, every evidence they have. And I don't know if they are just speaking from male words because this will be something they can be sued if it's not actually correct and then um, Yakubu claimed that um, his tenor in service that is an open book that anyone can refer to it that he served the country well anyway my people I do want us um, to lend our voice on this if we feel that um, this former military um, leader Yakubu Gowan as he claimed that he served Nigeria selflessly and with a clean hands that uh, we can always refer to it let's know your own take thank you once again please guys don't forget to like share and to subscribe till i come your way again bye for now and god bless